It's like they know something the rest of the makeup world does not know. Shiseido. Shish Shiseido. 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 I think it's my Invisalign. Well, I tried. As you may have just seen, I struggled to pronounce this brand because of my Invisalign. I have a new aligner in and it's giving me a bit of a lisp. So um, we all know what we're talking about. We're talking about Shiseido, as the woman on Google says it. <laughs> Recently, I did a video where I reviewed a lot of Shiseido <laughs> products and I really liked them. I absolutely loved them and they very quickly became some of my everyday products. So because I loved them skincare products so much, I thought I would try some of the makeup because often brands do skincare really well and they don't do makeup as well or vice versa. So I thought, if I love these skincare products this much, maybe I'll like the makeup. So today we are gonna review a couple of foundations from them, uh, a concealer, a primer, a powder, basically the base products. And spoiler alert, one of these products, a, a lot of them, but one of them in particular has, oh my God, it's, uh, it's blown my mind. I love it, I love it. It's become like one of my everyday things. So bear that in mind. It's really good. Let's start in the order that you would put things on with primer. This is the Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. As the name suggests, this is a blurring primer. So I put this on the areas where I have larger pores that I wanna blur. So kind of my T-zone area, particularly my cheeks here, all over my nose, a little bit on my chin and my forehead. This is just amazing this isn't even the product that i said i loved the most but i still do love it obviously i have never found a blurring primer that is not thick it is so lightweight because it is water-based i believe rather than say like silicone some blurring primers are very silicone heavy they've got that kind of slip to them this is water-based so it is really fluid it's really thin it's just weightless like i think they do describe a lot of this stuff as weightless and honestly it's the best way to describe it i use a lot of blurring primers they are my go-to like genre of primer but they're always really thick because you want them to kind of cement over your pores but this manages to have that blurring effect without being thick. It's the only primer I've ever found like this. It's absolutely ingenious, it's, um, it's amazing. This is light diffusing, it's mattifying because it's got like, I think it's called like mattifying peptides or something I was reading inside of it. So it keeps shine at bay. And it also contains something called sebum catch powder, which basically means it absorbs any oil and sweat on your face throughout the day. So in turn, that then prolongs the wear of your makeup because that oil and sweat is no longer breaking down your makeup. It's sort of being caught by the primer is the best way I can think to describe it. I think that's, I think that makes sense. Moving on to concealer now. This is the Synchro Skin, I think it's called Self Refreshing Gel Stick Concealer bit of a mouthful but I think that's it as always it's all linked below anyway again following the theme of a lot of these products they are very very lightweight I think that kind of comes in the uh the gel part of the name but while it's lightweight it's still very long wearing and very good coverage this is a stick concealer so it's actually quite a uh, kind of traditional method of concealer but it's a bit like a 21st century upgrade on stick concealers this has hyaluronic acid in so it's not gonna cling to dry patches or be hard to blend out that's the kind of the gel uh name coming in again it glides on it's really easy to blend out while being that kind of high coverage stick concealer that we all kind of know this actually claims to have 24 hour wear i can't say i've worn my foundation for 24 hours in the last year because of not being out but often people don't wear their foundation and concealer for 24 hours anyway but 
it is very long wearing. It's a really superior formula. It's just like what I would expect having tried these products now. It's high performance. It does what it says that it does. And also one thing that I do with these, you'll notice I have two here. I have a darker shade and a lighter shade. And I use the darker shade sometimes to do a little bit of cream contouring. I haven't done that today, but I do sometimes. I've been kind of experimenting with that. And that's really nice because it just blends out so well. It's a really nice concealer. I would use this under my eyes or on my other face areas, other face areas, or on my face. But usually I'll use a liquid concealer on my eye, so I do use this more for on my face, but I have tested it on the eye and it does work really well. Okay, I imagine this is the moment you've been waiting for if you have been waiting for it. Foundations, I have two here. It just, oh my God, just wait, shall I do my favorite one first? Shall I, yeah, I might, I might, because I can't resist, it's this one. <laughs> You might notice there's a little bit of a difference in the bottles. This one is shiny and this one is matte. And that also reflects how they are as foundations and what they're like. So let's do this uh, matte one first. So this is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. And out of the two, this is the more uh, matte finish, but it's not matte completely. It's, it's, all, it's, it's like semi-matte kind of thing. This is an oil-free foundation. It has SPF 30 in, but as always, wear your SPF on your own, but it's good to know. And it does retail at 39 pounds. Shiseido actually describe these products as kind of infused with skincare ingredients. So that's always nice. We'll go into that in a little bit, but it's, it's good to know that that kind of follows throughout all of these. So if you know me and you have followed me for a while, you will know that my diehard favorite foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Even though I do have a lot of foundations that I love that aren't Estee Lauder Double Wear, I always say Estee Lauder Double Wear is the best, nothing can beat it. Now I'm not saying this necessarily beats it because I've tested Estee Lauder to the point where I've been wearing it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and, hours and doing things. In the pandemic, I'm not wearing this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and doing things. But putting this on for me was a moment of like, oh, there are other foundations that actually I might like more. And that blew my mind. They describe this as a medium to buildable coverage. The coverage is just beautiful. The formula is just beautiful. And I don't wanna get ahead of myself because I know that I need to kind of be concise about this and describe how it works and all of that. But oh my God, I love this. When I put this on, my life changed. I'm actually not wearing it today, which is silly. I should have been wearing it today, but forget that. Nearly every day that I put my makeup on since getting this foundation, I have been using this. It's lightweight, it's not heavy. The coverage is insane, it's amazing. It's long wearing, it's, it just, it makes your skin look like a better version of itself. I'm not even sure if it's meant to kind of diffuse light and reduce the appearance of pores, but it does. It doesn't crease, it wears well, it sets well when you put powder on top of it, it doesn't cake, it is, incredible. Now they describe a lot of these as kind of self-refreshing and I looked into it and I read a little bit about these and I think it's something to do with the fact that like the the makeup itself is kind of working to keep your oil and your sweat much like the, the primer keep your like oil and smet oil and smet oil and sweat and all of those things at bay to sort of make your foundation throughout the day look like you've just applied it, which is obviously impossible. You can't have perfect foundation all day, but this brings you very close. The SPF 30 is great, but it also protects against environmental factors. So we see a lot of things now, people talking about kind of pollution and uh, those environmental factors. It does help to protect against those, which in turn helps with anti-aging. I love it. Really good coverage, really long lasting power. Love the formula, love the finish. Matte, but not not matte but not flat is a term that people use all the time but matte but not drying is perfect like if i only had to use this foundation for the rest of my life i would it comes in 30 shades really good shade range i can't fault it i absolutely cannot fault it if you have oily skin like me large pores you need good coverage you need it to last a long time this you'll love it but if you don't have large pores and you don't have oily skin and you want a really dewy foundation that still performs well here we have this. This is the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation, again, SPF 30. And as I mentioned with the other one, this one has a shiny bottle 
uh, versus the matte bottle. So you can see that this is the kind of sister of the other foundation. It is for those of people who still want good coverage. Let me tell you, still want good coverage, but want a more luminous finish. Maybe you've got dry skin. Again, like the other foundation, it comes in 30 shades. I think this foundation would be perfect for you if you have a drier skin, but so you don't want a matte foundation. It also has this this focus on weightlessness, which the other one does as well, all of the products do, but it is very weightless, but manages to be good coverage. Very lightweight, but still good coverage and very kind of luminous, very light reflecting. And with light reflecting comes blurring, comes fine lines uh, looking reduced, that kind of stuff. Again, it says it has 24 hour like wear and comfort, which I would agree with, even though this isn't the type of foundation that I would reach for. Obviously I have tested it out. I would go for the matte one, but if you like a different finish, then this would be the one for you. What I would say is these foundations sort of perform in the same way. They do what they need to do. Good coverage, long lasting, etc., etc., etc. but different finishes. And like different skin concerns and different skin kind of needs will, suit either one so it performs in pretty much the same way it's brilliant like it's a brilliant foundation i with oily skin would go for the matte one if you have drier skin or you like a more luminous finish go for this one one last product to talk about and this is sort of a powder but it's called a powder foundation ignoring the fact that that thing is dirty where i have been testing it this is the synchro skin self refreshing powder foundation so this is a very unique product and there's a couple of things we need to cover. First of all, it says it provides eight hour shine protection. Um, it can be used on its own or over a foundation as a powder. And because this is a bit more of a niche product, it does still come in 16 shades, but slightly less than the 30 for the more traditional foundations. But because it's a powder, there's a bit more leeway there really, isn't there, with powder. So on its own, this does have coverage. They say it's kind of sheer to buildable. So you can kind of build it up a little bit, get some more coverage. I would think this would be pretty good for somebody who has oily skin, who wants a bit of a finish and wants a bit of coverage, but not a lot. And although it says that it has eight hour shine control, again, it says it's got 24 hour wear. Now I haven't worn it for 24 hours, as we know, and this isn't necessarily a product that I would go for because I like the coverage, but it still does perform well. This is the, the 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 theme of this video. These products are really quite incredible. I didn't know what I was getting into when I tried Shishido, um, Shishido, sorry. Uh, when, when I tried Shishido skincare, I didn't know what I was getting into and I loved it. When I tried these, I didn't know what I was getting into and they are all incredible. On its own, I would say this is quite like a sheer, uh, sheer finish, but if you want maximum, maximum coverage, you could wear this over one of the foundations. And because this has coverage in it, you're almost adding coverage to coverage. You're really going all out when you do that. This doesn't obviously have any SPF, it couldn't, could it, no. But it does have the environmental kind of pollutant factors. Shishay do have a lot of patented technologies within their products that I've read about when I've been looking at these products and trying them out. And a lot of them do put quite a focus on environmental factors and making sure their products kind of form a little bit of a barrier between your skin and the elements, which is good because obviously in turn, that helps with anti-aging, it helps with the general condition of your skin which we have spoken about briefly, but you know. All in all, it's very creamy. It's a very unique product. It can be used sort of however you want it to, on its own, over foundation. It's got that self-refreshing name, so you know that underneath it all, it's helping to keep oil and sweat and all of those things at bay to keep your makeup looking good for as long as possible. And that's what I really like about these products. I am not here for makeup that leaves throughout the day. This is 39 pounds. I have very high expectations when it comes to expensive products. I expect them to do well because they should. We're paying money for them and they do. They are brilliant. My hair has been so flat in this video. So that's it for me on these. I am incredibly impressed having tried the skincare, which I will obviously link below, you can watch that. Having tried that and now having tried these, I am a real convert. Th those foundations just blew me away. I love them. It's like they know something the rest of the makeup world does not know. 
incredible i love them incredible i hope you enjoyed let me know below if you want to try any of these products or if you have tried any of them what you think of them i will leave a link to the skincare video in the description and also on the end card so you can watch that because shishado skincare is incredible i hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and i will see you in the next one